What's going on guys, this is Kazi. Welcome to another epic video in a two minute Tuesday series. And yes, this is not a hoax. This is not a clickbait. You read it right. I'm going to be sharing the biggest secret in DaVinci Resolve to removing noise in your image. It doesn't matter. It could be shot on red, Alexa, Sony, iPhone, anything. It does not matter. Okay. And this might be the reason why you won either want to buy the studio version of DaVinci Resolve or two, switch from Premiere Pro or Final Cut 10 to DaVinci Resolve because it's going to blow your mind. So get super pumped, grab a notepad. And if you don't know the difference between parallel mixer and layer mixer or not sure when to use which, you came to the right place. In this free training, you're not only going to learn everything about nodes, you will also learn to build the perfect node tree regardless of the project that you're working on. I will end the session with an extended Q&A. These questions came from you guys. Click the link in the description to sign up for this free training. If you guys are enjoying the content, it will mean the world to me. If you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and let's roll the intro. So since this is not a full-fledged color grading tutorial, I'm not going to build out this entire look. I already created it, but I'm going to take you through it really quick to just show you what I got going on. So in this one, I converted the C log to log C, which is RE log basically, and then converted that to Rec. 709, uh, dropped in some uh, color suppression, and then um, used a Kodak LUT, added some pop, worked on my skin, and then just Pulled back the shirt a little bit, adjusted everything in my look adjustment, added a glow to just really pop everything. And then uh, in our global, just kind of pull some of the color out of the highlights. And then here's our highlight node, uh, highlight recovery. It's barely doing anything, but it's just there. And uh, this is where we sit as of now. So if I punch in and show you what's going on, this, just look at that. So digital noise is the worst when it comes to red channel. OK, so because the digital noise compared to grain are two very different things. Digital noise is on an RGB level. So you will have like this tons of gunk just embedded in your red channel more than anything else. So how do we control that? I mean, this just goes everywhere, right? I mean, just look at that. Gets so nasty and it's all over the place, like right here. So the technique that I'm going to be showing you is going to be taking care of that in two simple steps. So first, let's click on our motion effects so we can go under our noise reduction. In here, I'm going to select one. Always start with the lowest number and then go high because this is going to be very taxing on your system. Also, the motion estimate type, just keep it to fast, faster for now instead of better because it's going to slow down your system. And I'm going to crank that up to about 4.8-ish, 5. 5 is fine, okay? So not much is happening, right? I mean, there is stuff that's happening. Like, I mean, look at this to that, like it's changing, but this is where the magic is going to happen. Break this chain right here and now just grab the chroma. Since the issue is our noise sitting in the RGB channels, then we have to adjust our chroma, not necessarily a Luma to get that color noise out. Because if we're just left with grain, it looks pleasing to the eye. It's like a film effect. So in the chroma level, I'm going to go up to about 6.8 ish. And now if I do before and after, just look at the difference that we made. Like it, there's still some noise. So we're going to go a bit heavier to take care of that. But I'm just trying to show you the difference to like where we started to where we ended up. And now let's just keep pushing it more. So instead of 6.8, this time I'm just going to kind of go into the 12 or 13s. And now look at that. Okay. And then same thing here. I'm going to just crank it up to like about 10 ish. And just look at that. This is before. This is after. And then if we go down before, after, and if we keep going down to this area right here, before, look at this, the after. So, I mean, the difference, like even look at the shirt. <laughs> so the difference is huge. But to counter that, because what happens usually is that when you add noise reduction, you soften up your image a little bit, but barely anything is happening uh, because of the technique that we use to create our noise removal. And just look at this, look at the scopes. It gets to tell you how much gunk you're pulling out of your image. 
And then all you have to do, what I usually do, just an extracurricular thing is go under another node and I just go under sharpening and I add a bit of sharpening. So minusing blur, basically adding sharpening. I just do 0.47 and then just like look at it. It really pops out a lot of important information. If I do before, you look at the eyes. I'll get closer, obviously, for YouTube compression. So if I do before and after, and it just pops out so much information, like look at that. So it does a lot of edge correction and just sharpens everything up. So we made a huge difference, right? If I go back to my noise reduction, do before and after, big difference. Now let's look at this shot over here. I'm just gonna go ahead this time, I'm not gonna build it out. I'm just gonna do this and get to a point where we're ready to go. And again, this is shot on um, Blackmagic Pocket 4K. So look at this noise, right? There's this noise and then there's some noise in his skin right here. So what can we do? Let's go here, similar techniques. I'm gonna turn that on. So let's click on one. And again, just start with like five to six-ish. How much difference are we making? We're making quite a bit of difference. And then in here, Remember, it's shot on a digital camera, so let's work on the chroma correction right here. I'm gonna do 6.6, .6 and just look at the difference. I mean, come on. So before and after, if I punch in more in here, do before and after, and then if we go down, we do before and after. Like, look at all the little specks, like even in the shirt right here, cleaned it up, okay? Just look at it right here, cleaned it up. And now we already have sharpening applied in this shot. So if we come back out before and after, big difference. Again, you can see it in the parade too, how big of a difference you're making, cleaning up that image. Let's move to our last shot. And uh, this is what we got. And if I punch in, there's a lot of gunk sitting in this area. And obviously like we, Notice that red channel usually picks up a lot of noise, right? So what can we do to correct that? There's a lot of noise sitting in this area. All we have to do is, again, go back in here, select it to one, around five-ish, break that chain and just go to about six or seven-ish. And if I do before and after, just look at the difference. Look at how mushy this is before. And then boom, so like look at how much noise is in these areas. Let's look at that. And then after, like before, after, before and after, and you can see it in the parade as well. And let's just pull out before and after. And then that cleans it up. So this gives you a quick overview of how similar your parameters could be to get a good look and remove all the noise without sacrificing any important detail in your image. And obviously I wanted to give you multiple different examples to see that you gotta play around a little bit to like really nail the specific settings that you need to do to get the look that you're going for. And this one we had a lot, like especially we had RGB red lighting. So that made it very difficult for us to clean up this image. Like look at before to like after, I mean, just look at the skin right here. If I really get close, this is before, this is after. So it truly is uh, a magic. And this would be one of the main reasons why I would get the paid version of DaVinci Resolve and just use Resolve, period, compared to Final Cut or Premiere Pro. So there you go. Now you're in on the secret to removing noise inside DaVinci Resolve. And if you guys have any suggestion for the content for the Two Minute Tuesday series, drop a comment below. Do not forget to watch the one hour long training that will teach you everything about no tree. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness, and I will see you guys in the next video.